let's jump into Indianapolis. Yeah, let's jump into Indianapolis. Uh, really, honestly, almost all good news to report here, but I'm going to just jump to the to the point right here. I'm going to go to average days on the market because we've seen some crazy stuff here uh, over the past couple months, even really a year. So uh, although 52 is not awesome, it's a huge improvement for what we have seen. I'm excited to see this. Um, I, I think it's going to go down even more, um, but I'm very, very, very encouraged by seeing the average days on the market um, go down and continue to go down. So for me, this is the this is the headline is days on the market is is 52 and hopefully going down even further as we get into the the height of of leasing season, which typically is like July ish. So we've still got a couple more months of um, of uh, increased activity and you'll see on the next slide uh, inventory looks good to support that that theory so for me the the, the big headline here is days on the market is down what 27 percent from last month 21 percent from from last year yeah yeah i mean a lot of where these market reports at least myself where i tend to focus is going to be in your average rents in your average days on market right i mean those are, those are going to be huge impact factors uh to your to your roi so that's yep. that's that's uh, where I tend to focus a lot of my energy and your average days on market. Yeah. From last month at 72 down to 52 days on the market. I don't know, maybe red door just drove that. I was just talking about how, <laughs> how our days on market Obviously. Less than, our, than our competitors. Maybe that's just, uh, we just drove down that average. I don't know. Maybe we're, <laughs> Gotta uh, be. Gotta yeah, be. <laughs> but your average rents also ticking up along with your average days on market ticking down, which to me always seems a bit unusual, right? If your average days on market are start, well, I don't know, maybe not. I mean, if your average days are ticking down, I guess it does make sense, right? That your average yeah. rent might might tick up a little bit. Yeah. So, I think what's having a big impact on that is is the inventory. Active home 16, 15. We'll see it on the next slide, but it has slowly uh kind of dwindled since the beginning of the year. And actually honestly, I think on almost all, if not all, of the the ones where we track inventory over time, that's been a trend. There was a ton of inventory January, February. And then it's slowly dwindled off and we, we aren't seeing a huge increase, um, even though right now we do see an increase in activity and leasing activity. So it's, it's really, really encouraging to see that that inventory kind of kind of go away um, while demand is going up. So that's why I think that we have better days ahead of us, even better for average days on the market. Yeah, and that's a good point. And a lot of our conversation tends to happen on this Indianapolis market report, good or bad. So some yeah. of our other, if you're watching some of our shorts where these market reports are broken up, you may miss some of this early commentary that that just kind of generalizes the market because it's that's definitely what I want to talk about when we talk about the overall Indianapolis the market. But uh, in it, what I what I wanted to mention is maybe we're also seeing the days on market tick down here in the Indianapolis market because not only seasonality. But the sales market, we all we all have been seeing what's going on with the sales market. Home has been flying off the market. And the vibe or the feeling here recently is that's beginning to slow down. Uh, homes aren't selling quite as fast. They're staying on the market a little bit longer. Who knows? I mean, we could speculate all day to why we believe that that may be. But so people are still moving, moving, right? So if they're not buying, they're renting. So yeah. that should correlate to lower average days on the market. Uh, that's what I'm I'm theorizing anyway. Yeah. No, I mean, honestly, this is this is great news. And you're right. Um, this to me is kind of indicative of because this has the most homes that the most activity. When we talk about some of these other sub markets and it, it's not as much activity. So, uh, you know, the data is not as strong, you know, on these days on the market. Sometimes we have a lot less numbers to report. So I, it's not as accurate but this one there's tons and tons of activity so this is this is really indicative i think of the overall market in general now there are different nuances between the the sub markets like indianapolis and westfield are, are, are different markets for example but overall indianapolis does give us a feel for what's going on in the market for sure exactly exactly yeah, yeah. okay all right let's move on to the next slide here yeah so uh, again we kind of touched on this earlier but active homes on the market the slide on the left here um, just shows that we started off, I mean, it's, it's pretty atypical, but we started off the year with the most inventory of the year so far. And we've kind of slowly worked through it one way or the other and um, kind of bottomed out. So we do have a little bit of a sneak peek into June where inventory is going to increase a little bit, but not substantially. I mean, these are, again, these are the, the peak leasing times. So to see just that little bit of an increase from, from May to June is really, really encouraging. And it's encouraging to see that we're down 
what uh 500 homes from january i mean that's yeah. that's awesome i mean from the from january is almost the worst or the slowest time of the year and then into may to june we're, we're bottoming out in terms of inventory so that's super super encouraging super encouraged by that and then days on the market over the time we know it's been a wild ride but it's uh it's heading in the right direction at, at 52. absolutely i mean it certainly looks like it's a little bit more stable than it was last year i mean uh, we, we, the, the trend lines tend to correlate with each other, although obviously we're a lot less this year. Let's see what happens in June. I'm really hoping we're going to avoid that little uptick that we saw last year from 79 yeah. to 124. I expect that we will. Uh, but I mean, that's just, uh, that keeps everyone here tuning in for next month. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because they all want to see it too. So <laughs> Hanging on, waiting with bated breath to see what happens uh, next year or I mean next yeah, month. Yeah, the yeah. The market. I think it's going to go down. I do. I think, I think, it, is I really I think it's going to go down. I really do too. And to your earlier point, uh, as we get closer to July, which I believe is the most active month of the year, right before school starts, right? Everyone wants to settle down yeah. right before school starts. I believe it's going to continue to tick down going into June and July. And then just to leave, before I leave this this slide, just to leave it on a positive note, 52 is the lowest days on market for the year. So love it. That's awesome. Love it. Love it. Love it. 